Alrighty, welcome back. This is what we're doing. We've got the brake system taken out. We took the windshield out last last video. Um, this video we've taken out the brakes and Aiden is putting a ball socket in the firewall for the steering column. So what has happened is, is I've given him, this is the ball socket over here. These are the pieces. I've given him, uh, number one, these things are labeled. Uh, this has got a little ball and it has three pieces to it. This is number one. He's made a pattern on the firewall and it's this is for the brake system and this is for the steering system. This is the ball socket that we're putting in. Uh, he's chiseled that out with his, show them right there, the die grinder. First he took and cut it out with the plasma cutter. He knew exactly how to work everything, didn't have to tell him to do nothing. Put it up there, drilled the holes, um, die grinded it out, and now he's going to fit this bad boy in. So that's a test fit. Let's see if it fits, Aiden. If it does fit, we'll carry on and go for more. So we'll there you go, just like that, perfect. So he's got that fitting excellent. Uh, that's number one. Um, we're gonna put the ball socket in. What we're gonna try to do is get the steering column. I got the steering column over there. It's got a bunch of tape on it. I'm gonna have to rip it off to get it through this ball socket because it will not fit. We bring the, the dash up to Jolene's car because I wanna know, I'll explain as we go. We'll put the ball socket in. We'll go from there, we'll put the ball socket in. Uh, Aiden, what we're going to do is we're going to put, there's a set nut at the bottom of that. We're going to stick that bad boy in so we can set, what happens is the steering column goes in, then you can put that set nut to hold the steering column where it's at. I've got number two and number three. I'm going to go on the back side and we're going to put this ball socket in. Then we're going to throw in the dash and, and see if the steering, steering is going to work because we, you know, <laughs> it's called mock-up day. Uh, and we have to mock it all up before we start. So I'm going to give Aiden the ball. So, or actually, I can hold the ball, actually. You just hold the front. So I'm going to put on number two goes next. Number two. I want the set screw at the bottom. I'm going to turn it around and find it. There it is right there. I'm going to put it in the bottom here. This seems like the easiest place to get at it inside. So that's number two. And then we want number three. And it's a pretty simple situation because, it, you know, I can count to three. So we're just going to line it up like that. We're going to put it. He's got the two at the top. And we're going to try to put it on. He's going to hold the, the screws. I'm going to have to get up in here a little bit. It's an awkward thing to work on, I can tell you that, for, that's for sure. And this pin or this set screws down the bottom. You got to hold that for a sec, Aiden. Yeah. Don't have to do anything other two. Okay, the screw the bolts are right there. Just gonna put these on. We're gonna set this in place, and then I'm gonna get Aiden to come out and help me put the dash in. We're probably gonna put the window in because the window went or the dash went against the window. So, all right, that's at the bottom. Doesn't matter if it's at the bottom right now because this is going in and out. We still got to put a piece of aluminum on the firewall, but yet we want to see if things work. I'm going to get a sap socket. Aiden's going to share his air with me. I think three eighths air. Try that bad boy. See if it works. Thank you. You got a thing to hold that. Right, we're going to tighten this bad boy up. Go for the bottom first. Good. No, a little bit more. Okay. All right, we'll go to this next one. Good. 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 It takes. I'm gonna see if I can move the ball socket. Okay, moves all right. It's fine. You have to remember, this is all has to be done because we have to have a pattern for the aluminum on the on the outside of the firewall. So basically, the steering column is going down through this. Um, and hooking onto the double D shaft. 
and we're hooking up and on, on to uh, it's going down through the dash, so the dash is going to be connected here, and the steering column is going down through the dash, connecting to the firewall, so it's not going to go anywhere. Uh, da -pa 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 -pa. Alrighty. Let's, let's grab the window. Aiden's going to help me grab the window. What we're going to do is we're just going to set it in there because the dash... I can remember when we did the dash before, the dash went up against the window, and we want to get a, the truest read we can. If you want to go the other side, Aiden, I'll just pass it to you. Right. And then we'll put it in. I have to thank Aiden for coming back. Appreciate it, Aiden. You don't, I know he doesn't have to, but we appreciate it. Thank you for having me. <laughs> All righty, we're just going to set that bad boy in there. Let's put a little rubber down there, set that in there. Let's, let's put it up and put this underneath it, see if we can get a... Okay, let's do that. Aiden's lift the whole car up. He's a muscle man. Let's do that. Let's leave it like that. Just sitting in there. This is using it for a mock-up window. Jolene has sent for a window. Where's it coming from? States. And it was very reasonable. One, 155 American. So that'll be 250 for us. Probably 250 for us. Probably it gets here probably. A little bit more. But we've got the dash here. What's going on when, and with the dash? is when Jeff put in the, the gauges and the steering uh, ball here, exactly what we got in the firewall. So we got one in the firewall and one in the dash. The dash is going to be connected to the structure that I have outside. We moved this thing. I had the steering ball up here close to the top of the dash. We moved it down. You can see how much room's in there now. Not much. We've moved it down a quite a ways. And what I want to know is when we put the hole in the firewall because we had a chiseled hole in there it looked like a squirrel in there chiseled a hole in it and uh, what happened was i just cut a little peephole uh, with the plasma cutter and then i got aiden to do it with with the plasma cutter and then he took the die grinder and made it perfect so it fit so now what's what's going on is i want to know if the steering column is going to work the way I want it to work and look the way it should look inside the car where we have moved this and where we have we've moved that up in the air a little bit did we not yeah we went up a little bit just because it worked out that way we went up a little bit so now what, what what's happening is is the steering wheel come down some because when the front ball socket comes up and this ball socket comes down uh, if you've got a steering column like this the front one goes up and the, and the back one goes down that, that's what happened to your steering column. So what I'm looking for is, is to find out what it's going to look like in the car before we get it all done. Because where this one is mounted, where it's mounted, fine and dandy. But the steering column can still go up or down because we still are not finished with the firewall. We could take that one and move it up a little bit. And if you moved it up a little bit, it would just bring the steering column down a little bit because it would just swivel inside this ball. If we took the ball socket on the firewall, moved it down, we'd move it up in the air more. And also, when, when we get doing this car, we have to realize, or you don't have to realize, but I do, it's only so big inside. Like, the seats are all the way back. Um, it, it's a, really actually a small person car. It's, it's like a, a race horse. It's a race car, and it needs a jockey. And the jockey's Jolene. Like, if you want basically the smallest person, Aiden. Um, I'm not sure if he's, well, he's a little bigger than Jolene, obviously. But Aiden's going to be the test fit dummy. <laughs> I don't know if he likes that word, babe. It is, that's what it's called. But anyways, we're going to get Aiden in the car to test it. What I want to know is what I got the dash up here for is because I want to know, this is what I want to know, and they're going to watch it with us at the same time. I want to know... Where, where we've moved this down, you can see where this one's way up in the air. I've got an inch and a half to the bottom of that dash. So I know if I put that steering column up through there, and I measure that there, I've got a little better than inch and a half. We're up there probably, well, we're an inch and three quarter, obviously, but we got an inch and a half. Inch and a half there, I would say. So I'm, what I'm going to do is we're, we'll be that far off, so we'll be able to know. What we'll do is we'll set this, instead of putting a ball in here, I'm, taking, I'm not going to take that out, we're going to leave that in there for good. Instead of taking it out, we're just going to take and come down and put, 
we're going to put the steering column, set it down on this part, just set it right down there on that, and then we pretty well the exact same. What I'm going to do actually, I'm just going to take the die grinder, take a little bit more out of that so we can get it down just a little bit further and get a truer reed. Go for it. Just going to take the die grinder, knock it down just a little bit. Just a little bit. a master woodworker did you huh we're close to an inch and a half there now all righty let's set the dash in just thinking what's next that's all we don't want to push out that window either. We found a different. Just want to take a look here. We're over about, about how far are we from your from this? How far are we from that? Uh, eighth? Yeah, an eighth. Good. Sounds good to me, because I got about an eighth too. So we're about in the right plot spot then. We don't want to push out the window, but we're hard up against the window, like usual. Alrighty. What I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna, if you want. Not sure if you want to go underneath the hood or not, Aiden, but I'm going to fish this down through to you. Through the... Yeah. Take tape off this bad boy. Did Benny Riviera donate the steering wheel? Way to go, Benny. Benny donated the steering wheel also. We have um, one of the gifts yesterday. We have, we have work in today. Thank you. Appreciate it. So, the reason I tape this up um, is just, I just don't want to get it scratched up, obviously. And we want to get it taped up for that reason. Um, I don't know if I need to tear all that off. Let's tear the bottom off. Put the bottom tear off. And we'll know the distance that it has to come through the firewall. We have lots of room with... Uh, the street double D shaft coming through the through the motor mount. We have lots of room on the side of the engine there. We're, we're really good. I'm just going to rip that up so far. And I'll leave it so it, go down, don't, it doesn't go down through. And Aiden, what I'm going to ask your assistance for is try to get that ball on the right angle, so this goes down through. Gotcha. You know what I'm trying to tell you? Alrighty. So this is going to see. And this is the issue. This, uh, I'm just wondering if I should have something on that dash to... Alright. Well, is this it's going to take off on me? I know it. Alright. Alright, cool. Now. Yeah. That's not going any worse. Alrighty. Alright, we have a steering wheel that comes off. Just kind of now. Yeah, that's what right. Looks good. So if you can picture it, that ball there is gonna be the, the aluminum's gonna cover this. That's gonna be on the outside of the aluminum, and then you're gonna see the double D shaft. Do 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 do. Just wanted to show you how sharp it's going to look. There's Fina, Wina, Fina, the Bina, the dog. So it's going to be, then it's going to be a universal joint. Universal joint like that. And then it'll be, oh, gee. <laughs> Jolene, give me a look. You look. 
Everything okay? Not yet. Not yet? It's gonna take a minute, boys. I, I yanked her microphone right over her head. Ready to rock and roll? Mm -hmm. I got the look, boys, didn't I, Aiden? I got the look. Don't ever do that again. <laughs> so this is the double D shaft. We'll pull the con down here a little bit. And that's the double D shaft there. So we'll have that go on like that. The double D shaft to go in the other end of this universal joint. And then the double D shaft will go down to the steering uh, rack and pinion and through the motor mount. So that'll look really nice there with an aluminum firewall. Just had to show you that because I wanted to see myself. How's that? It's going to stand over here. Because everything I do to this is kind of brand new again because it's been a while. I'm going to ask Aiden to hop out. Aiden's going to be the person on, going to be taking place of Jolene. So this is how the steering column comes off. I generally buy these things, these steering columns. It's I did it. It has a little pin that goes on the end of the steering column. Then you just pull it off. And then you have a little press pin that puts it back on. Pretty, pretty simple thing. It's just a nice thing if you're getting in your car and the steering wheel's in the way or whatever. It's a nice option to have um, for um, getting in and out of your car. You also have one on Elvis. I know Benny or not Benny Riviera donated a beautiful steering column. I got a couple mats here. I'm thinking that these couple mats here might be might they're probably a little little thicker probably your seat probably a little thicker than that but we'll sit Aiden in the car the seat hole is here that's the very front of the seat I'm thinking his buttocks would be a back about here somewhere because that's the back hole there so we're gonna put it hopefully right about there Aiden try not to hit the steering column if possible and plant yourself um, the seat is no wider than the wheel well so plant yourself over closest to the uh, console as possible so I've got Jolene's steering column here. Try not to hit your steering column. See, when when getting in this car, it's going to be it's not going to be that high, obviously. And there's the issue right there with your knees up against that steering column or the dash. The dash is down so far that um, if you had to. Alrighty, this is the test. It's kind of stuck right up at your face, eh? But, but that's a good thing. Don't press the brakes. <laughs> I'm just joking. Hang on. Uh, let's put this on. We're probably up a little bit higher than that. Can you see through the... That's... I think that's right on the money. Awesome. I think it's right on the money. I'm happy with that. Can you see, like, can you see pretty good? Or If I can see you, you can see me. I can see you. Actually, the, this wheel here is a bit above right in the eye line, is it not, somewhat, sometimes? Yeah, just a bit. Just a bit. So if you went up just a little tiny bit, so if the seat was a little bit taller, it'd be perfect, probably. Or a little bit lower. A little bit lower. A little bit lower. But I, I like the steering wheel where it's at. It's not too high. It's not up by the roof. Can you put your, so if you moved your legs for the, for the brakes and the gas, could you do it? Good. Perfect. That's, that's what we needed, right? If this was too far forward, uh, you're not going to be moving that. That's just a gas pedal. This one here is when you're going to be braking, you know what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. If I, the steering wheel was too far forward, it would be hitting your knees. It's got to be back, but toward, towards your gut more. Because, you you know, when you bend your legs up, it's not in your gut. So if the steering column come back, it possibly could come back a ways and go up higher. I'm going to push it back. You want to hold the dash sort of yeah. some falling. So if I push it up there like that, does that make it better or worse? Better. Better? Just hold that dash for it there. So just push it for you. Okay, that's good. So if that, that makes it better. Hmm. So... Basically, me pushing the steering column back or forward um, will be Jolene's, that will be up to Jolene when the seat's in. But right now I'm saying that um, he has room for his legs to press the brake because you pull this leg up for your brake, you're not hitting your steering wheel. And your gas pedal's gonna be staying still because you're just gonna be moving that like that. I think that we have accomplished it. It's not gonna hit your door. You're not hitting your door. Like, your hand's not gonna hit the door. You're gonna be fine there. Awesome. So basically, that's what we're going for. Um, uh, Aiden put in the, the ball socket down the bottom. We know where the ball socket is on the dash because we bring it up and took a measurement. We're 
basically down where it would fit on that dash. This dash is that dash is exact same as this dash. That's the steering column we're using. That's the wheel we're using. And I think that the seat might be up just a little bit higher. I think you're probably up. Yeah, you're probably up a little bit higher. Awesome. So, so to have that steering wheel on there, open that car up and try to get in this car with the steering wheel on, probably a hard thing to do. Probably a real hard thing to do. With the steering wheel off, I'm thinking the aid's gonna be able to hop out of it. You're gonna be able to hop out of it? And we're gonna be down like a lot lower. It's not gonna be four wheel drive. So um, you'll be able to get out of the car. That's fantastic. Fantastic. Awesome. So happy. I did not know, uh, you do not know until you put it together whether it's going to work or not. And uh, I feel like that's going to work perfectly. So if you can picture the steering column coming up through that dash, absolutely gorgeous. And if you've seen the interior, if you can picture the interior door skin on the seat, if you've seen the engine with the cam covers on it, You'll be able to tell what the back of the firewall is going to look like. We know what the engine looks like. You can see it. That's how I visualize things. I can see it all because I see it and I'm trying to just keep putting it together. Uh, I've got the brake system right here. This is what I've been working on. I've got this pretty well accomplished. We have uh, the little tab that we welded on yesterday. I welded this piece back on this, this bracket here. I welded that back on because I wanted this hole and this hole for when it goes underneath the dash, I can bolt the, the steering column to this piece and make sure that it's not only held by the dash and the firewall, it's even held by the brake system, in which it will give the brake system a little bit more oomph to, like more everything's connected to. It's like my hip bone connected to my shoulder, my side bone, or my, my hip. <laughs> Yeah, my hip bone connected to my leg bone, my leg bone connected to my knee bone, my knee bone connected to my foot bone. It makes things stronger, if you know what I'm trying to say. So as I got that done, I've got the bracket um, welded on there, got that ground off. I've got the base of it, was not welded yet. I got the base of it welded there on the side, welded on this side. Put a little piece of angle iron in there, so that's nice and strong and right. On this side, we already have the brake. This is when the when the when you're when you've got no taillights, your switch is shut your taillights off, and as soon as I press on that brake pedal and that comes off like that then the tail lights are on so that's my little switch for your tail lights um, I took and cut it has square pedal on there for the brake pedal we haven't got enough room underneath the the feet the feet wear or the foot spot for the brake pedal and the gas pedal to have a great big square gas pedal um, so I've took and just took the grinder cut it off drew a circle I think this looks a lot better it'll kind of match up with the, the gas pedal that we're probably going to use um, also, this piece here we have, I'll show you this here. Come on out. Keep going. So we have this here, this bolts on to my, if you've never seen it before, uh, this bolts exa exactly right on there like that. Then four bolts there go, four, four bolts go through the firewall, and this is on the other side of the firewall, underneath the dash. So when this comes through, this is my my plunger here that I have, and I have this piece right here that connects to my plunger. And what I've done is I've taken a, a fine thread. It actually was a plunger from another brake unit, and I robbed it and stole it and cut it. Um, it was quite long. It was there on the floor. It was probably eight inches to a foot long and I did not need that when I put this on I've take all the nuts off that but when I put that on there and take them nuts and put them bolts to that hole this basically the plunger goes right to that and doesn't is not long enough so what I what I've done is is I've made this I've got a fine thread that screws into my plunger hookup, so I screw that all the way in. I might have to cut that down a little bit, but now when, when the brake system goes on, it's not going to fit on right up tight and right. No, it's not. I'm going to have to take a wrench and wrench this out a little bit. You can see the excess here on the, 
on the fine thread. I'm going to wrench that out, which will haul this brake system in. That'll screw on top of this, and then I will tighten this to lock it in, to lock it down. So that's my brake, that's how I'm going to connect that to my brake system. This is on a swivel, so when I push my pedal, that's going to swivel down with my plunger and push my plunger into my master cylinder, which will give me brakes. That's something I had to figure out and something I had to do. So now that I have that, uh, this piece can go back. I have to paint this piece and put it underneath there nicely. I'm going to have to clean around the window yet and that sort of stuff. But we, uh, we wanted to get the ball in the firewall to see if the steering column is right. And I'm happy with the steering column. We're just going to keep going straight forward with that. Um, Probably the next day or so, I'm hoping that the metal place comes open again and we'll be able to get some aluminum for the firewall. And then we'll be able to get that aluminum made to fit the firewall, drill some holes, maybe put some brass screws on or stuff to make it look like it's really, really, really nice. Um, so the brake system is basically in place, tight and right. I have to take this stuff apart and, and uh, we'll paint this because it'll rust, obviously. The antidote stuff will leave because it looks new, which it is. And that's what's going on. Uh, so now we're just going to jump onto something else. Maybe I can get, I'm going to probably get Aiden to clean up around that window. Uh, we were going to do that yesterday, but um, I think the ball socket was more important and getting in the dash and getting the steering wheel and getting that stuff and see if it's right or not. And it all mattered up here because it could have went up or down to make that steering wheel go up or down. But now as we're, as we're doing it, we can make it go up by pushing it back a little bit or we can make it go down by pushing it forward a little bit because we have room we have we're only got there two inches now we can go either way and we have to remember we have to have that seat in there to really know where it needs to be and that's where those lock pins go when you when you then the ball sockets when you lock that little lock socket the little pin in there for the ball socket and one here and one down there that will set your steering column and your double d shaft that we cut to fit the universals. So we're moving straight forward. We're moving straight forward, but that was the test that we wanted to do. We wanted to take you along with the ride. And uh, Jolene will sh maybe just give you a little glance of the steering column coming through and the steering wheel. And then we'll come over to the dash maybe. We'll show you the dash and then we'll do the one just to see what everything looks like so you can see what's going on. And it's going to have a nice steering column coming up through with a nice wheel. Thank you very much, Benny. Um, we have the wood that Jeff Webster done. We still, it's been, it's been a while. Uh, we get all the gauges in there. Um, there's the back window trim pieces. The side window trim pieces are in the house. Didn't need those, but those are all connected together. So we've got, if you can picture it, this is uh, the aluminum that we're doing for the firewall. And I like the brass. We'll probably put brass screws or something to hold it on there nice and tight. Tight and right. And uh, hopefully everything goes right. And uh, when I got measuring things yesterday, and I get showing Jolene, like the quarter inch, half inch, eighth, and sixteenth is all over this car. Everywheres. Everywheres. I'm talking everywhere. It's a power steering pump um, to the alternator, to the fan, to the rad hoses, to the rack and pinion, to just the mounts for the around the shocks, the engine to the back of the firewall, uh, the gas tank. Uh, we got a gas tank to put on. That's another thing we're going to do. We'll, we'll actually take you through that one because it'll be a little bit of process. We have to put the gas tank in. We have to find out where the hole goes. And we have a gas boat that we're going to drill a hole in the side of the car. And we want it to make it look right and, and get it one shot because you know what happens if you don't get it in one shot, uh, you end up fixing something and you're going backwards. Alrighty, Aiden's back in the house. I appreciate it. He's having a. Aiden's back in the house. That's all I can say. Happy to have him here. That's for sure. Uh, having a hand doing something like that is awesome because I, it's hard for me to do it by myself and hold the other side. I can't hold the screws on the other side and do the ratchet on the other side and do that all at once and try to stick steering column in and hold the dash. And it's it's just hard to do and I need some help. And uh, Aiden has come at the very perfect time. It was like I said, Aiden, when he first came here the other day, I said, uh, you, you started every project with me, and you've never got to come stay when it's finished. Like, he started the, the Pontiac with us, 
chopped the roof off it and got it started with us. He started the truck with me. We cut the truck all apart and got that all geared up. Then he had to take off for school again. And um, yeah, maybe I'll finish this one while you're going. <laughs> all right, everybody. Thanks for coming back. We appreciate it. Uh, like if you like. If, subscribe if you like. Tell your friends that we're building a $40 million Bugatti. And we make lots of mistakes. And if you make mistakes, it's okay. Um, I know it's hard on the ego, but I do it every day. And uh, have a good one. See you tomorrow.